Uh, by the special grace of God, my name is Apostle Peter Daniel. You are watching me in the Heaven and Hell Life program. Uh, we are dealing with error in the church by the special grace of God. Errors in the church. Errors in the church. That is what we are dealing with. Uh, today, we want to deal with uh, some other little errors that are inside marriage. The problem that people are passing through, we are going to deal with it right now. And uh, before I begin to talk about them, I will personally advise you that you please forward this, uh, this message to everyone. Let this, uh, this message go around everywhere. And uh, let people watch them because you don't, you, you can't tell. Many people are really passing through hell in their marriage. Some people they are singles that are looking for husband, so that they will not make mistakes. Ah, uh, the Bible say that uh, if the foundation is destroyed, what can what? He say what can a righteous man do? If the foundation is destroyed, what can? A righteous man do see this is uh, the the uh, the point what can a righteous man do if the foundation is destroyed so by the special grace of God we are going to be dealing with uh, with uh, the errors that also occurs on marriage so after this one then tomorrow we will start dealing with other other things but today we want to deal with many, many other errors that are going on in the body of Christ when it comes to husband and wife. I pray that as you are listening, you will make it and you will correct your life in Jesus' name. Uh, by the grace of God, we are going to talk about the person that are joining people together. There is a particular error that is going on in the body of Christ, and which I want you to correct this immediately. Uh, I want this to be corrected immediately. And one of the things is that uh, joining couples together, when the bridegroom's uh, the bridegroom's uh, father is not there, is an error. Except if the father is dead, or somebody else is standing in gap joining the wife and the husband together when the parents are not there so these are the things these things should totally stop then one of the other other thing that is the problem in the church right now is telling a woman to stay in a brutal marriage telling a woman to stay in a brutal marriage a husband is beating a woman you as a pastor you are telling them let he say endure you are married you are married forever wait where in the bible do you see all these things where in the bible is beating part of marriage we have to understand that anyone that died in the process of brutality and you as a pastor you know about it you will pay dearly you will pay dearly for it because god will not overlook that sin where where in the marriage where in the bible did you ever find out that you have to beat your wife for your wife to obey you where where in the bible and when the man beats the wives you as a pastor will tell the wife that uh, overlook the matter Continue with the relationship. So he said, just keep enduring. Is that marriage? We have to understand that this is a brick error in the church. A church supposed to be a defending pillar for marriage. A defending pillar for the weak vessels. But rather, the church will rather stand and say, hey, because we want your home to stand. Yes, it's a good idea. That their home to stand their home can stand in prayers and in two of them separating if beating is the case they call the husband and call the wives will you continue to be this woman anything like this will you continue if you are going to continue let 
the sister be free from you right now she will not stay in your home and for now until you get your your sense back together at least the sister should go and separate and see where she can have peace of mind where she will not die you and we are not encouraging the sister to go and marry no she will go and stay alone somewhere until brother until the brother's brain come to uh, come to normal because it's abnormal for a man to beat a wife where do you see it that a man begin to maltreat his wife call the wife and begin to maltreat her you are claiming that you are the husband of the house is it among the agreement that you have to maltreat her is it among the ag agreement these are the things you need them to understand as a ministers of the gospel otherwise there is going to be a problem somewhere amen amen another thing that is also a big problem in the church is uh using of uh, rings in marriage where do you see it in the bible that rings is symbolizing the uh, marriage uh, property see it's a love it's a joint together covenant let me clarify it to you very well anyone that use ring in their marriage have sold their their marriage to the marine power and they are going to be in charge of that marriage no wonder your homes are not settled no wonder you cry every time in your homes no wonders you are giving back to marine children no wonder you are still having spiritual husband when in the foundation of your life you have already sold out your marriage to the devil you have sold out your marriage to the devil in the foundation of your mind of your life at the beginning where in the bible do you see that where in the bible do you see that you have to use wedding ring wedding rings rings on the human being is a taboo and is dangerous in a woman something it is so error it's a big error for any christian to use anything rings the only thing that should symbolize your joining together should be the word of god anything that will symbolize the marriage should be the word of god nothing like uh, you are using where well, uh, wedding ring you are using it as that anybody that use wedding ring will not make it to heaven i want you to note me very well note me very well note the word i'm telling you they will not make it to heaven if you use wedding ring in your marriage you will never make it until you go and remove it and when you are removing it you have to pray to break every connection your marriage has gotten with the marine powers and the covenant of the darkness you will have to make sure that you you pray against it another error we also want to deal with the third one we're going to deal with today is the errors of a uh, uh, marriage without dowry let me tell you something in the war we go to an end you have to pay dowry of the one you are with now if you are a woman right now and the man that have taken you in his house have not yet paid you have, have not yet paid dowry in your life you have not yet paid your dowry to your parent and you are in that you are in that home let me tell you something if god caught you i didn't say that even you have whether you separate yourself or not if god caught you with that you be under the umbrella of another man is straight away to hell is straight away to hell you have to make restitutions by leaving that place immediately you have to make restitutions by leaving the place immediately otherwise you will be in trouble if god caught you and find out that if rapture caught you where you are there if rapture caught you where you are there in a strange man house the man that have not yet paid your dowry and you have given back for that man two children one children three children four children and the man 
is sleeping with you claiming to be your husband taking care of her uh, you know taking care of you and they uh, try to say that uh, is your husband that they uh, trying to rule over you and not yet pay your dowry you are committing fornication you are committing immorality you will go to hell if you did not correct your ways you have to note this and the only solution now is that you have to leave that out now you have to leave the house and go and separate yourself until the man go and pay your dowries you can't stay under the same umbrella it's forbidden it's forbidden to stay under the same umbrella it's forbidden is forbidden so you have to know this very very well i pray that the lord god almighty will help you in the name of jesus christ i won't go too far this morning i want to tell you this i i will i should i will have talked about divorce what divorce actually means but i'm looking at i want to look at this appropriate time to explain to you what divorce actually means can a Christian divorce? No. Can a Christian divorce? No. But many Christians did not actually know the meaning of divorce. At the first place, they are just going to court and say, we want to go and divorce, we want to go and divorce. I'm a divorcee, I'm a divorcee. Meanwhile, what they are divorcing is, is actually legal marriage. Anybody, before you can say you want to divorce, you, your marriage must be. A word divorce is meant for a couple that their marriage is legal. And how we live in legal, parental legal, legality, couple legality, God legality. If God has approved your marriage and you want to go and divorce, it's a big danger for you. But if God has not approved your marriage and you say you want to divorce, then you are not divorcing. So there's a one thing I want us to clear in that area, but we are not going to talk about that now. A Christian cannot divorce, that is basic. But I want you to have a full concept of what marriage is all about what marriage is all about because many people right now they are into errors many pastors are teaching er erratic erratic messages putting people in a serious internal bondage that god has not put them and they are not following the scriptures tell them to prove it in the bible they cannot prove it they can't prove it tell them to prove it in the bible no proof it. so that is why you singles that are yet to be married make sure that you are very careful make sure that you are extremely careful about marriage otherwise you will be in a big mess those as other people who rush in have go have, have been rushed up now those who think that they can rush in they have used broom to rush them out some people do not even bother to carry their load with the ghana ones go they have to carry it with the lilon bag because they rush in and they rush out so that, that, that is clear for you. If you rush in, you will rush out. Because there are, there are principles and procedures that you have to meet up before you can say that you are a married person. Saying I'm a married person is not, is not, is not something that is so sweet like that. It's not too sweet. Say I'm a married person. No. Yeah, you have to earn it. You earn it by a lot of things. A lot of things have to be in place before you can end marriage. In the name of Jesus, you will not go to hell. I will stop here by God's grace. I want you to share this to everyone. And I want to use this period to tell those people who are watching me right now on YouTube and uh, on all other social media like Facebook and other places. I want to tell you this uh, error in the church, the school of heaven. We are meeting people now because this area in the church is in school of heaven. We just decided to put it on social media so that those who are also outsider, people have been calling us from different places to tell us that, sir, please put this in on online so that we too can also benefit from it. So that is why we put it on online. If you wanted to join the school of heaven, you have to contact me or my number is already on the screen plus two three four plus two three four eight one three eight nine six six two eight seven my name is Apostle daniel and you're going to contact me directly 
that's my direct number you can contact me straight to the way not by calling but by whatsapp i i will prefer you calling me on whatsapp if you want to call me call me on whatsapp and you can quickly register so that they can put your name down because after this lecture after the lecture is over we are going to be giving a certificate of uh, of uh, of uh, of uh, of the schooling and this one is different this is not bible school i want it to be clear to you this one is more details than bible school this one is school of heaven where jesus christ has handed over the errors in the church for us we are dealing with things that is taking christian to hell that is what we are dealing with and jesus christ has been, has been able to give us over 250 errors now things that are taking christian to hell and also we are also going to be producing the book of things out this is going to compile as a dictionary books whereby every christian can cross check and go when you go through it you begin to see what are sinful many of you are committing sin you didn't know are you even aware that as a sister you cannot breastfeed outside are you even aware that as a sister you cannot open your hair outside if you are married there are many many errors that are taking people to hell and they did not know and it is proven in the scriptures there are things that you should not be doing at all and you are doing every day that can take you to hell as a pastor are you even aware that you are not supposed to collect offering during outside crusade and revival these are the problem that church are making and pastors are making that are taking them to hell every day i'm going to tell you the simplicity i'm just telling you to try to show it out for you to know there are a lot of error pastors that are trying their possible best to make sure they make it to heaven they will just end up in hell because of a lot of errors and ignorances may the lord bless you in the name of jesus christ thank you god bless you shalom bye